This is Magic Revealed with the King of Spades. In this trick, I'm going to teach you how to appear to read someone's mind and figure out what card they are holding. But first, I'm going to give you a demonstration of the trick. We are going to have our imaginary audience tell me when they want me to stop. So. Stop. Alright, so we'll do that. This will be the card. Alright, there you go. See that? I'm gonna set that aside for now. The one that had been selected was the Ten of Spades. See that? Yep, Ten of Spades. So, what we have here are four groups of cards. Each one is all the suits. So, for example, this here is hearts starting with Ace, Two, three, four, and so on until it gets to the end, all the way up to kings. Clubs, diamonds, and spades. It is very important to do this trick with that in mind. You have to keep the cards in the right order. Um, for that reason, you can't let anyone shuffle the cards, you can't shuffle the cards, or anything like that. So, now you have to make it look like you got a deck. You can put them in any way as long as you know what order they're in. I prefer to go um, alphabetical, just because that way you know for sure what there is. So, you know, that would mean clubs on top, followed by diamonds, hearts, and then spades. Then, what you do is you fan it out to the audience, and you tell them, this one's a bit different, because you don't tell them pick a card, you tell them when to stop you, alright? So, what you do, ace, that we know this is the ace of clubs, right? Ace, clubs, two clubs, three clubs, four clubs, five clubs, and you just count off in your head. Six clubs, seven clubs, eight clubs, nine clubs, ten clubs. And then let's say the audience says stop right there. Because of that, we are counting off on our heads, and we know when each card is. We know that this must be the ten of clubs. That is correct, ten of clubs. That's really all there is to this trick. You just have to mentally count off in your head. It's all about keeping track of it. The One of the most important steps is to have the cards separated beforehand. That way you don't have to go through the process of setting up the cards while you're about to perform the tricks. And it, that would be rather obvious. Um, it's not really a trick to do. It's not really a real serious trick. It's not one. It might make a good intro trick, but it's not something you want to finish off with because it, it is kind of obvious what's happening. To do this, I have it set aside. I, I, I label my decks of cards. I have four or five identical decks, um, and I label them. Deck A, Deck B, Deck C. Uh, this would be Deck A for alphabetized. The cards are alphabetized by suit. Whenever I want to do this trick, I just have to look in my uh, bag of stuff, and I say, oh, Deck A. There we go. This, these cards are all ready for that trick. I have some other ones like that. For the most part, they're just label because they have, don't have a trick assigned to them yet. You can do a bit of a psychic thing, make it into a whole thing if your character calls for it. I'm reading your mind, it almost feels like, you know, ow, was, ow did you hit me with something? A club, perhaps? You know, that, that, that was kind of cheesy. But uh, anyway, that's all there is to this trick. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thank you for watching again, and have a great day.